The mission for the Department of Urology at uh, Mount Sinai Downtown is to be a world-class uh, entity for healthcare, uh, but also delivered in a community setting. We have uh, multiple faculty members who have specialized in certain areas of urology, including things like prostate cancer, kidney stone disease, avoiding dysfunction, BPH, male and female sexual health. When patients come here to see us, we have someone that they can see. So if it's something highly specialized, if it's not something we do here, we definitely have someone within our system that we can refer to that will be able to see you. One of the things about Mount Sinai Downtown and our faculty is many of us have done procedures or worked in areas that no one else has worked in before. Uh, I've personally performed the world's first robotic single port donor nephrectomy. This is an operation where we remove a kidney for donation in another patient through one small incision. The major advantages of the robotic platform are typically greater visualization, enhanced dexterity, and greater precision throughout the operation. There have been a number of studies comparing the two, but there's typically an added benefit of robotic surgery, and that's with respect to patient post-operative course. That's usually in the form of shorter hospitalization, reduced pain and discomfort, and a faster recovery time. Minimally invasive surgery as a whole has really revolutionized the way that we treat urologic cancers. If you look at many of the commonly treated pelvic malignancies like prostate and bladder cancer, we're now able to perform the operation with less blood loss, less pain, and the majority of our patients are receiving zero narcotics postoperatively. Kidney stones often show up uninvited and as a surprise. Most patients don't even know they have stones until they're lying in the ER someplace. We have advanced different techniques in stone surgery and kidney congenital anomaly surgery. Something called UPJ obstruction happens often in conjunction with stones. The surgery to repair that is done robotically, and we've been doing that here for over 20 years. Robotic surgery has progressively become more sophisticated and less impactful to the patient. Patients are finding that they're going home with minimal pain medications, that they're uh, quite comfortable on just things like Tylenol, and are returning to work in a much quicker fashion than they did before. Whereas most urologists are comfortable in treating men and women with kidney and, and bladder problems, very few urologists uh, have experience and training in treating uh, everything south of the bladder, like the urethra and the vagina. Traditionally, this has been a field that gynecologists have specialized in. There are particular challenges around the treatment of sexual dysfunction in women. To me, the foremost challenge is the great deal of misinformation that is rife in both the popular literature about female sexual health, but also our professional education about it. Women are taught that it's normal to have pain with sexual activity. And so a lot of what I do is educate my patients about their anatomy, about their physiology. I am hopeful that there will be a broader recognition of the similarities between the sexes. Sexual dysfunction is frequently comorbid with voiding dysfunctions, including BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is a very common condition that affects adult males. The symptoms, however, can vary from going frequently to the bathroom to having difficulty getting urine out. So it's important for men to realize that there are several treatment options available. Urologic health is very important because men will often delay their care and not seek help until things have gotten out of control. When men come in, when they first have symptoms, we can often make interventions to make their lives better holistically, without surgery, and with less medicine. Urologic health is very important. Men go through most of their lives not even thinking about their health, and all of a sudden it can become a big problem for them. So we're here to help them through whatever problem they're having, and we're here to do it in a compassionate way and, and provide the best care we can. Male sexual dysfunction is unique in that many men deal with it and live with it without confronting it. We have power to help people take command back of their lives, an important part of their lives, but it's a, it's a part that's not discussed freely. So a lot of men don't come in because of that. A major advantage of being at Mount Sinai is not only do we have one of the largest urology attending faculty practices, we have one of the largest residency programs in the country, and we have access to state-of-the-art technology that other programs are still dreaming of. 
Mount Sinai has become sort of a large system, and so if there's an area that, for instance, one particular colleague is not that well versed in, there's always going to be someone else who has done that. In the Department of Urology, we see that very well. Everyone here is highly specialized in their area, and not only do we have one or two specialists, but maybe we have three or four in that same area, which already puts us uh, at a major advantage because we have multiple physicians working on some of the more difficult and complex uh, cases that are out there. I think to be able to practice in an environment that really marries research innovation with surgical innovation combined with mentorship from some of the leaders in the field really provides me with an opportunity to bring my career to the next level and to be able to bring excellent patient care and world-class patient care uh, to our community.